you guys decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. Thanks for tuning in to Johnny Jigs TV. We have a great video in store for you with Will, myself, and Rick DePaiva, who had a great day landing a mutton, an African pompano, and a red grouper. For me, the day consisted of getting cut off, snagged, and stuck on the reef. I don't want to talk about it. But that's not half as bad as what happened to Will. It did get me in the freaking I saw this blood. Stay tuned for more footage. Showing some live bottom over there. See the, the red, the red, 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 and then green. Did y'all catch any here? Any? Not, not on this spot. Yeah. Color. What the oh, hey, baby? <laughs> Look at that. Put him on the scale. Look at that. Let's see how big he is. That's a keeper. I think it is. Look at that, boys and girls. Who says you can't catch a mutton on the jig? Who says you can't? Uh, it's gotta be who? 18. That might be about there. Around. Might have it on the uh, 150. Torpedo. Torpedo. Put him on the scale. Let's measure him. Just curious. 18. So we get the nose all the way to the front. He's and keeper. He's 19. Oh. Great. Oh, 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 oh. Put him in the cooler real quick. <laughs> Let's hope it's a mutton. Rupa! Rupa! Oh, wow. Hi, Greg Rupa. All right, so I'm gonna... That's the thing about offshore jigging. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> nice. Look at that guy. you hooked up. You know, a good tip for you guys out there that uh, if you're in an area where it has very, very little bottom feature, the two things you might want to consider doing on your Simrad or whatever uh, machine you have is the scroll speed of the screen. If you have it at least times three or times four, that refreshes. In the old days, that would cost you money because it was you had to burn paper to print. Nowadays, we have the liquid crystal display screens and you don't have to worry about that. So get that refresh rate going at least times three or times four at all times, because that paints the best picture. This is turning into the Rick DePaiva show. Yeah. Amberjack maybe. Something like amber. Color. What do we got? Uh, color. Probably amber. Uh, African Pompano. African Pompano. African Pompano. African Pompano. Yeah. Oh. And is he 24 inches? We shall see. We shall see. Oh, got a, a really nice uh, African Pompano. Look at yeah. that. Baby! What are we about?
about 200 feet of water. 220. 220. 220, yeah. I've got a fish on them, they stay on. And I see it. Is that a um, cobia? No. Big ass bonita. Look at the colors on that. Big bonita. Stick your hand in it, Kill. Get the jig. There you go. Look at that on a 200 gram torpedo. Ow! Oh, you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? That may have got your junk. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'll help. I'll help. Cut, cut my cut my line. You okay? No you guys see blood. Yeah, you're blooded. I'm holding them tight. Damn. Unhook the fish if you could. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be right there. Thought it got me in the end of my. Here, let me help. Spires? Yeah. That that bonita swam around, flipped around, and almost got Will. Right. It did get me in the freaking. I saw this blood and I thought I thought that was Will. I thought you me. I thought you hooked me through the for a minute. That's what it felt like. Don't be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen. Will is fine. The hooks just missed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Jig on.